I'll cut the greetings because I'm totally excited. Uh, the Canadian Golf Tour. I, I would like to thank Dave and everybody else that's been involved that chose Equinel, which is a PGA-rated golf course, uh, to actually come to North Grenville. Uh, I'm pleased I'll be there at the, the days of the uh, tournament, and thank you very much, sir. Thanks very much. Thank you. I want to uh, just say how excited the, the entire board is uh, with their association uh, with the Great Waterway Classic, and I think uh, especially with the news that's about to come, I uh, just want to say that the uh, Great Waterway region uh, stretches from uh, uh, starting right here in uh, uh, North Grenville and the United Counties of Leeds and Grenville, Cornwall, all the way along the St. Lawrence River to the uh, Bay of Quinney, Prince Edward County. So lots of regions, lots of great golf courses for every type of golfer, including myself, as some people have witnessed today. Uh, so it, it, it's really, really an exciting time, the sponsorship opportunity. Uh, that the Great Waterway Classic has had, and uh, we really look forward to it. Regional group of companies, Equinel Homes and Equinel Developments, and TMSI Sports Management. This is a very exciting time for us at the course. Going into our third full season of operation, I could hardly wait till the announcement gets done. And from the people that have played today, they are very excited and think that the pros that are going to be playing here will have a challenge, all due to our staff, the design, and Equinel. So thank you very much, David. I appreciate it. And I'm looking forward to working with all of you and to have this event in September. Thank you. I think today being uh, almost a tornado would describe sort of what we've experienced since David walked down the hallway and said, would you like to do a Canadian tour golf event? Uh, we jumped in with both feet, said absolutely. Uh, we're thrilled to be involved in the Great Waterway Classic, to be putting that on. Uh, we're even more thrilled now to, to expand on that and, and announce what we'll be doing today. Uh, thrilled to have the, the Rick and, and Scott here from the Canadian Tour and, and just the, the professionalism that they've brought for us. A, a key part of us wanting to be involved in this event uh, is just how simple they make our lives from the, from the golf world. So thank you guys for coming down. Thanks for the opportunity to be involved in all of this. Um, thank you, Equinel. Uh, yes, I think it was... I think it was Catherine really telling us that we had to do everything here. So I'm not sure that we even had a chance to ask. So um, a big part of, uh, we won't talk about all of our partnerships, uh, but we've got some fantastic uh, friends and people that are helping us uh, in everything that we're doing. And we just want to say thank you to all of them. A key part of bringing any of these events to the region and, and to these communities is that we need partners. We need people that will help us. We need people that will support us. Uh, and you know, tonight's a great example of, of how those things come together. So thank you to everyone involved. Uh, and I look forward to announcing what we'll be doing next. I guess the, the announcement that you want me to make, um, along with another one that I'm going to talk about, uh, is about the international team matches. Uh, in 2006, uh, the Canadian Tour started an event uh, called the International Team Matches. Um, our tour is... Uh, Perhaps many of you don't realize this. The Canadian Tour is actually comprised, a majority of our players are from outside of Canada. In fact, only 30% of our members are Canadian. 20% uh, come from another 20 countries, and the others are from the United States. So we started a match in, uh, in 2006, which we played in Jamaica at Rose Hall, called the International Team Matches. And at that time, uh, we had a very strong Canadian contingent, a strong American contingent, we didn't have any international players playing, and we, as Canadians, got our, we got waxed. The Americans beat us badly. Uh, and then the, the, the game was on at that point in time. And we created a wonderful trophy, which I'm sorry we don't have here today. Uh, it's in transit somewhere else. Uh, but we created the International Team Match Trophy. And uh, the next year, in 2007, we brought the International Team Matches to the historic Scarborough Golf Club in Toronto which is celebrating its centenary this year. Uh, not only were the matches a great success, the pro-am aspect of the matches was, I will tell you categorically, was one of the best things that I, I keep hearing this from Scarborough, that it was one of the best things that ever happened to them. It was an opportunity for their members to play with some of the bright, young, up-and-coming players, Graham DeLatt being one of them, uh, who's now on the PGA Tour, uh, played in the matches that year. And I'll tell you how exciting they were. Uh, for those of you who have ever played Scarborough, they have a 19th hole. It's a diabolical par 3 that, that uh, the green is right at the clubhouse. 
And uh, the day of the Pro-Am, we had two players shoot 64. So they played off, and they played off on the 19th hole of the par three. And you can imagine everybody has just finished their round of, from Pro-Am golf, and everybody's excited. They're on the veranda, and Scarborough has a beautiful veranda. And it's just a great summer night, and the two players walked back to the 19th tee, and the first shot came in, and someone said, that's pretty good. It hit just behind the pin, took one bounce in the hole for a hole in one. Now, if that was, it didn't create pandemonium. The next shot from Brad Heaven from New Zealand, first shot was from uh, a player from Australia, uh, Brad hit it, and then people said, wow, that's even better. And of course, I'm going, like, how could it possibly be better? Hit exactly the same spot, came back, and spun out, and, and almost was a hole in one. So you can imagine why the people at Scarborough think that the international team matches and, uh, and having those players there was such a great, uh, a great time for them, and it was. And since then, actually, Canada's won. And Canada won the matches in 2008, 2009, 2010, and last year. And we're very, very pleased to be able to bring this great, great event. And I tell you, this is a great event uh, here to this golf club. And I, th I know our players are going to love it. But more importantly, the Pro-Am aspect will be a treat for anybody who plays. Uh, you're going to be playing with players who are on their way to the PGA Tour. Uh, every year, the Canadian Tour graduates an average of 12 to 14 players, either to the Nationwide Tour, which is the next step, AAA ball, if you wish, uh, or directly to the, nation, or to the PGA Tour, as Graham Delac did in, uh, in 2010, and is obviously earning his stripes out there. So you're going to see world-class golfers, but you're going to see golfers not just from Canada, not just from the United States, but now, because we've been playing our tour has been playing in Latin America over the last three, four years. We've been in, uh, in Chile, Costa Rica, Argentina, uh, and, uh, and we've been spending a lot of time in Mexico. In fact, our leading money winner last year was from Mexico. So you're going to see a very, very strong contingent of players from Latin America as well. So I really encourage you to come out, and if you don't play in the Pro-Am, come and watch uh, the competition itself. I know I've only got 30 seconds. I've, I've got a few left, don't I? <laughs> I had four cards. I haven't even looked at them yet. One of the really exciting things that um, we're working on right now, uh, I know that David uh, behind the scenes is able to talk about this. We don't talk about it publicly. Mr. Mayor, I'm really happy to see you here. Thanks. It's great to, it, it mustn't be election year because you only talk for 30 seconds. <laughs> One of the... Um, well, you know, one of the things, you know, I, I, I'm sure a lot of people in this room don't realize what the Canadian Tour is. And I'm going to tell you, this is a tour that's been around for over 40 years. The Canadian Tour started in the 70s as the Peter Jackson Tour. It was sponsored by Imperial Tobacco. And that tour, the players that you saw on that tour were George Knudsen, Al Balding, Stan Leonard. These are the players who played then. They, they left the PGA Tour to come and play the Canadian Tour and support golf in Canada. Uh, Dan Halderson, Dave Barr, two members of Canada's Golf Hall of Fame as well. Uh, they would try to earn as, as much money as they could on the PGA Tour so that they could come up here in June and follow the Canadian Tour across Canada, and they did, and we're so grateful for what they did. In 1986, the Canadian Tour took on a different life. It broke away from the Canadian PGA, which is the club professionals, and became an entity unto its own. And in 2009, we had a, a board meeting. And uh, for those who, are, who, who do this sort of stuff, I, I did a SWOT analysis for our board. You know, what are the strengths and weaknesses and opportunities and threats for this tour? And uh, one, of the, one of the threats that we encounter uh, trying to develop a, a, something like this, a domestic circuit, and David, you're doing just a brilliant job. Your evolution has done amazing work in a very short period of time. But it's, it's really hard, as you know, to explain to Canadian companies, to tourist boards and so on, what the Canadian Tour is. And the biggest threat that we had was the dominance of the PGA Tour brand. The PGA Tour brand is the preeminent brand in the world of golf, not just here in North America, but all over the world. And that was the biggest threat we saw. And we realized in June 2009 that our future would be vested in an alliance with the PGA Tour. So we made a very concerted effort to start 
and we've been laying track for some time to develop a, a closer working relationship with the PGA Tour. For example, um, to a precursor to that, in 2007 when we had the uh, President's Cup in Montreal, uh, the Canadian Tour took the President's Cup trophy and traveled it across Canada. And as you probably well know, charity is a very important part of what we do. And we took that trophy not just to our events, but to charity events that took place in the communities that we were, we were at. And it was extremely successful. And I think that uh, earned some stripes for us at the PGA Tour. Uh, in December of this year, we signed an agreement with the PGA Tour, an historic agreement. And uh, in the truest sense of the word, it's a game changer. Uh, we are right now in the process of, uh, well, it's called the due diligence. Uh, we are, uh, with the help of people like David Dargy uh, and Evolution, are growing out the uh, Canadian tour. We'd like to see 16 events across Canada next year. We have nine right now. Um, and we're working very hard to do that. And if we're successful, uh, we may well know by the end of this year that uh, the Canadian tour will not be the Canadian tour anymore, but will in fact be a division of the PGA tour. Uh, that will make us uh, the bona fide double A ball to the nationwide tour. Thank you so much, David. And um, Kelly is our program coordinator for Do It For Darren. So on behalf of the foundation at the Royal, and especially Do It For Darren, we're both delighted to be here today. We've had a wonderful time. And uh, my teammate here was that we were at Tucson. We were almost lost out there. I think everybody else was finished, but we were out there finding money actually out on the 17th hole. So. Um, Watch out if you're out there. There's toonies and loonies sitting around in the, in the uh, chips. And the sports community has been incredibly supportive of DIFD, and your involvement makes such a huge difference in encouraging open and frank discussions about youth mental health. And we're very excited to be a part of this golf event. We'd very much also like to thank Equinel, um, <clears throat> the Evolution Golf, the Canadian Tour, and also especially Catherine again for being uh, such a visionary and also for choosing DIFD and the Royal to be the recipient charity of this very exciting upcoming event. It's events like this that help raise awareness to this most important issue and that issue is destigmatizing mental illness. Kids, we want kids to reach out without fear or shame before it's too late. We'd also like to acknowledge at this time the Richardsons for everything that they've done. They've been a, an absolutely tremendous family They've raised the profile of youth mental health in the community. It's made such a difference. It's actually saved lives. It's got, it, what's really most important is that it's got kids talking now. We want them talking sooner and more openly about mental illness and suicide and to ask for help when it's needed. We've also got families talking now, and it's, that's, that's so important because one in five youth in Canada will suffer or be touched in some way by mental illness. And we do lose close to 200 children and youth in Canada every year to suicide. The earlier a mental illness is treated or diagnosed, the better chance there is for recovery. And that's certainly something that's worth talking about. We work with many groups each year, and these events are so rewarding. So this event is just another one of those uh, tremendously exciting um, opportunities for us to help bring profile to the cause. And DIFD, if not everyone is um, aware of it, it was, it's a youth-focused movement. It was created by friends and family of Darren Richardson, who very tragically passed away um, by suicide at the tender age of 14 just almost two years ago. So it's a really grassroots movement that's focus is to create awareness and inspire conversation, open conversation, and, and also to really transform youth mental health. And the funds that you're helping to raise with DIFD will support youth mental health research and education, and that will be led by the Royal. So two of the programs I can tell you that uh, we're working on currently are really very exciting. One is a youth mental health awareness study and early intervention research project. that's actually taking place now in many of our regional high schools as a pilot project, and that's studying how to best bring mental health to a curriculum in the high school. And as well through its Is It Just Me, which is an educational program that brings high school students to the Royal. So your support is going to help us see 4,000 high school students come through the doors of the Royal in this next year to learn more about mental health and about the brain and to help them get those conversations started. Indeed, very exciting for us. So we can't really, we just can't thank you enough for your support. So from the bottom of our hearts, thank you ever so much.